Welcome to the Mimeoplasm. It came from the swamp. As far as our opening hand goes, yeah, we? <laughs> yeah. Keep on this one. I love it. We've got uh, three lands. We've got a mana crypt. We've got Underrealm Lich. We've got Worldly Tutor to put any sort of creature that we want on top of our library. And we've got some good reanimator with the Scare of God. So we've got some good stuff. So yes, we will definitely keep on this one. And we're playing against Vorinclex, which should be... Uh, should be pretty interesting. Let's go and lead off with Temple of Deceit. Get the Scry going, the Scurry, the Fever, the Descent into Arcane Signet. Yeah, I kind of like that. That's that's a lot of mana pretty quick. So let's go and put that on top of our library. Playing it gets green, so we don't have to worry about hand disruption. So we don't need to necessarily go for Mana Crypt just yet. So I think we can just wait on that and we will pass the turn. But yes, welcome to the Mimeoplasm. Hopefully we can dredge some stuff up out of the swamp and... Make a beautiful, beautiful Soul Tide Commander. Actually, our opponent's got their own mana crypt, so look at that. Hopefully this, uh, we end up having some fun. This game, let, let's have it. So there we go. They got their own mana crypt. So we'll roll that out next turn, and I think what we'll probably end up doing is rolling out uh, Arcane Signet, too, at the same time. So let's go and drop in a Nurturing Peat Lane. Let's go and drop in Mana Crypt. I think that sounds good. And drop in Arcane Signet. And with old Stick Fingers, old Fish Stick Fingers, I think we can... This is going to be one, two, three. Yeah, with old fish stick fingers, we can get our graveyard going pretty quick with that. And I, and I kind of like that. So um, anything else, uh, let's go and pass the turn over to our opponent. Now, we do have Worldly Tutor in our hand. Um, we could try to end up going for something like Hedron Crab to kind of set the turn for next turn if we wanted to. If we want to make sure that we have some sort of good option for old stick fingers, we can Worldly Tutor in response so that trigger, we'll, we'll see. We'll see exactly what we ended up going for. All right, opponent's going to get down Vivian Reed, which is going to be minus three on a artifact that we control. So let's see what they end up doing. If they end up popping Mana Crypt, actually they pop Arcane Signet. So that's okay. Do we want to tap down Worldly Tutor in response to that? I think we're okay. I'm trying to figure out exactly what we want to, if there's any sort of creature that we, you know, if we do end up grabbing a creature, most of the time we just kind of want it in the graveyard. So... Uh, I think we'll let that, we'll, we'll just hold on to Worldly Tutor right now. There, there's nothing that we really want to burn it for. And our opponent did uh, pop Arcane Signet, so I do appreciate that. I don't know if they wanted to not cut us down on mana, but uh, leaving us with Mana Crypt, we'll certainly take that. So, all right, let's get the Mana Crypt trigger going. Let's go and choose Tails on this one and uh, get the turn going. We might end up just going for Underrealm Lich. All right, one for one on our Mana Crypt triggers, no life loss right there. And then we run into Breeding Pool. So let's go and drop in, uh, drop in Island. And I think we just end up going under Realm Lich. I think that sounds like a good plan because next turn we can go for old fish stick fingers, and I think that'll work out. So let's get uh, let's get uh, under Realm Lich onto the battlefield. We'll end up paying one extra life on that one, but that is uh, a okay with us. So let's get down under Realm Lich, and then anything else we will pass the turn over to our opponent. But yes, with under Realm Lich, and I'm going to say this out loud, so hopefully I remember. There is a pay for life under Realm Lich gains indestructible until end of turn. Tap it. So I will try my best to remember that. I, I can't remember last time I played with Underrealm Lich, but unfortunately I forgot about that. And uh, it wasn't fun. So I'm going to try it. If I speak it into existence, maybe I will remember it. So and it looks like we might be running into Vornclax. So yeah, it's going to be Vornclax coming down right now. Um, we'll see what this is. So Trample and Haste. And actually, we'll go and cover our commanders real quick. So we're playing the Mimeoplasm. Uh, as the Mimeoplasm enters the battlefield, exile two creature cards from your graveyards. If you do, uh, Mimeoplasm enters as a copy of one of those. And then we get plus one counters equal to the other creature that we exile. Playing gets Vorinclex. Uh, Trample and Haste. If one or more counters will be put on a permanent or a player, twice that many of those are put on that player instead. Then if an opponent, and they're swinging in for a sit. Yeah, we'll just take it on that one. There we go. And yeah, we don't, there's nothing else that we really need to do on that. Um, if an opponent would put one or more counters on a permanent, they put half that many of those counters rounded down. All right, so we got the Mana Crypt trigger. Let's go and choose Tails on this one. Lost the flip. We were one for two on those. And we've got three Vincent Swamp and Forest. I, I think at this point, we're just going to end up grabbing, probably end up grabbing a, well, actually, we'll grab a Swamp on that one. I like that. Rest will go into the bin. And man, I'd love Under Realm Lich. That is just such a nice ability. So let's go and drop in Swamp. And if we try to set up old fish stick fingers, that's going to be four creatures in the graveyard. And that sets us up for Mimeoplasm, and that also sets us up for the Scare of God. And I kind of like that. We could try to Worldly Tutor 
Um, but at the very least, next turn during our upkeep, we can worldly tutor. Yeah, I like this. Let's go for it. So let's get all fish stick fingers down. Um, that's going to be green. Tapping down for black. And tapping down for one, two, three, four. Just straight into the graveyard. I love that. All right, so we're going to get the old fish stick fingers coming down. That's going to be four creatures. Lord of the... Oh, that is a very beautiful pile for Mimeoplasm. I like that. And then uh, anything else, we will... Yeah, it's indestructible, looking into 4-3, so we'll simply just pass the turn. Now, one thing that we do need to keep in mind is that Vornclex um, will reduce the amount of counters that we do get in our creature, so that is a little bit of a bummer. Um, the other thing we need to watch out for is the uh, amplification of the Vivian Reed counter, so they get to that minus 8. Uh, that is not going to be good, but at least we do have a graveyard set up for next turn. Uh, we got Lord of the Void, which I really do like going Lord of the Void, and even with Vornclex out there putting uh, Titan Rex... <laughs> Using that for tokens, that's uh, that's pretty good. We could try to go for Lord of Extinction, but um, I really like Lord of the Void. And if we're playing against Mono Green, good stuff. Um, Lord of the Void gives us a pretty good option. But wait, with the minus three, that's going to be target creature with flying. So Titan Rex does have Trample. So what we might end up doing is just getting Titan Rex onto the battlefield and putting counters equal. That's going to be an 8-8. Eight, eight. Lord of the Void is a 7 yeah, we might end up going Lord of Extinction. We'll see. We can't Worldly Tutor to put another creature on top. We've got the land drop for next turn and Breeding Pool. Um, the only thing is, do we want to get some sort of Hasty option? Which we can get that going. So we'll, we'll, we'll see. So this could be Fraley's coming down. And even if they do go for the minus two with Fraley's on Mana Crypt, at the very least, we've still got Breeding Pool on Mimeoplasm. The only downside is, all right, they're going to just straight up just go for the uh, draw creature. Draw a card for each green creature that they control. So that does keep us open on going for a Worldly Tutor. So we'll see exactly what we end up grabbing of Worldly Tutor. Invisible Stalker, um, that does give us a good option to start dealing with some of these Planeswalkers if we wanted to. All right, so we've got N Nylea swinging in. That's going to be a 6-6. Six, six. Yeah, we're going to let that come across. So do we want to end up going Worldly Tutor? That way we can dump it into the graveyard. I, I think I kind of like... I kind of like where we're at, so we'll kind of set it like this. All right, it's going to be Mana Crypt Trigger. Let's just go and hold on to Worldly Tutor. We're going to choose Tails on this one, two for three on those. And then that's going to be definitely want Demonic Tutor into our hand because we can definitely uh, grab a board wipe and hit the reset button if we need to. So let's do that. So let's go and grab Demonic Tutor and then Inkwell, Trample Island Walk Shroud. I like that. I, I think we might end up going Inkwell on this one. So um, let's get the land drop down. Yeah, let's do that. And we will pay two on this one. Drops us down to 21. Um, let's go for Mimeoplasm. And with Inkwell having Trample, I, I think I like grabbing Ink. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to choose Ink be the creature to copy. And we're going to have Titan get those extra tokens. I like that. There we go. All right, so we've got ourselves a 1216 out there, which is a very good thing. And with Demonic Tutor... We can grab some sort of spot removal, at least on Vivian, and I think I kind of like doing that. So let's go Demonic Tutor. Let's get this popped out. And yeah, let's go ahead and grab, um, where is it? Hero's Downfall. That way we can deal with uh, Vivian out there, because if they get that ultimate, that, that's not going to be very good for us. So um, anything else? Uh, we can't swing in with Inkwell yet, but we've got uh, we've got the creature out there. So um, anything else, let's go and pass the turn over to our opponent. So we did cover both commanders. So give a quick shout out to our sponsors, TCG Player. If you go to bit.ly slash MTG, that will apply my affiliate link. That will allow you to get some cards and help support the channel at the same time. So if you do use that link, much obliged. I certainly appreciate it. Um, let's give a quick shout out to MTGO Traders. Let's give a quick shout out to ingaming.com slash jolt for 10% off of your order, whatever they have over there. And last but not least... I started a Patreon, so if you'd like to directly support cool content like this, there's a link down in the description below. But if you're keeping score at home from the swamps with Mimeoplasm, it is officially free time, so let's have some fun. All right, so, uh, but yeah, with Mimeoplasm, I, I love Mimeoplasm. I, I need to start playing it more and not just have it relegated over to or delegated to the uh, the Fright Fest selection of decks that I do have because it is just fun playing Sultai Reanimator. And uh, Sultai is one of my favorite color shards. And one of the fun things about Mimeoplasm is, you know, you can build Mimeoplasm in a combo way if you want to. Um, one of my favorite ways to do it is, you know, have a lot of good stuff in here. And then just have these just really, really fun reanimating options. You know, Inkwell, of course, it's going to be one of your standard options for Mimeoplasm. Um, one of my favorite cards is Lord of the Void. Um, you know, you're here to play Commander, you're here to have some fun, and uh, Lord of the Void certainly does that. Alright, look at this, opponent's got a 
big chunk of creatures out there. Okay. <laughs> and we'll see what we can do about that. That's going to be Gore Claw. Now, if we do swing in, we can always end up re-going for Inkwell if we need to. But yeah, we need to go uh, Hero's Downfall for sure on Vivian. All right, so we got the Mana Crypt trigger. Let's go and choose Tails on this one. Lost the flip, and we might. This is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. We might just Worldly Tutor for uh, Sire of Stagnation. Kind of like that. We could try to get it down. We're going to Hero's Downfall. That'll cut us off. So we can at least wait on that one. So we'll see what's on top of our library. I'm just going to grab Polluted Delta, put those rests into the bin. And let's go and go Hero's Downfall on Vivian because we want to take care of that uh, right now. Don't want Vivian to ultimate. That's not going to be fun for us. Let's go Polluted Delta. Let's go and swing in with Inkwell because I think we can survive. That's going to be 12. Yeah, that'd have to toss the entire crew in front of Inkwell. So I'm just going to push in with Inkwell. That's going to be 12 coming across. And one of the nice things about Mimeoplasm is that is commander damage. So we're sitting at 12 commander damage. And we can still end up dropping in the Scarab God, which I do like that. So let's do that. So let's get this popped out. And we just need to grab, we'll probably just grab Underground C. Let's get that down. Let's go for the Scarab God. That's going to be one, two, three. And then actually we'll, either way, we're going to have to take damage on that one. So it's going to be one, two, tap down for blue off of Breeding Pool. Pete and Land, drop us down to 15. And then we've got the Scarab God. Okay. Than anything else. Let's go and pass the turn to our opponent. So even if they do decide to swing in, that's got a six and a six. Uh, we've got some, you know, some nice creatures out there. If we end up losing Underrealm Lich to kind of stop one of these blockers, I, I think we're still in a good spot. Uh, one thing that they do have to watch out for is that uh, with Inkwell, if, if they allow it to go in next turn, uh, that will be a commander damage hit KO right there. So uh, we'll see what we can do about that. Old Stick Fingers is a horror creature because we do need to keep track of our zombies. Uh, but thankfully with the Scarab God, um, we can do that during our upkeep too. So that's something we want to keep in mind. And with the Scarab God, we can actually bring back Lord of the Void if we wanted to. We don't have to worry about Freilis or Vivian anymore popping some of our flying creatures. And let's see what this is. They're going to send in potentially the entire crew. Okay, so we've got the entire crew swinging in on this one. So we can definitely trade Old Stick Fingers. Uh, Nylea... Does not have Trample, because other creatures you control have Trample. Ooh, now here's the downside. They do have a lot of activations that they can go for. Okay, let's see. Are they going to hit it on this Alpha Swing? Maybe we... Uh, I don't know if we could have swung this one out one a little bit earlier. But I think with them getting the Mono Green like this, they might be able to get in on this one. So let's see what's going to happen. So they're going to go for Gore Claw uh, with 4 graders, plus 1, plus 1, and gains Trample until end of turn. My goodness. All right, so they're going to go for the Nylea Activation... Nylea activation. At the very least, even if they get it on this one, I am super happy with the showing that we got. This is exactly what we want to happen in a uh, Mimeoplasm deck. All right, so that's going to be them. That's going to be plus two. And that's going to be Gore Claw, five, four. That is a big chunk of damage. All right, so let's go. Scarab God on Gore Claw. Let's go. Old Fish Stick Fingers. At this point, we're just trying to chew up as much damage as possible. Old Fish Stick Fingers on Oracle. And that's going to be 5, 6, 7. Yeah, I think that's going to be it. And no matter how we block on this one, I think they're going to get it. Because even Nylea has Trample now. Yeah, so we'll go let this go on through. But I think they're going to get it on this one. So good game to our opponent on this one. Uh, we did take care of their Planeswalkers. But unfortunately, Mono Green doing Mono Green things without Crater Hoof. Uh, that's always pretty cool to see, but they're going to be able to get those activations and drop us down to negative four. So good game to our opponent. We had it with Inkwell next turn, but uh, they had it a turn quicker than us. Uh, but this, you know, th this is exactly what you wanted to see in a Mimeoplasm deck. You know, if we untap next turn, uh, we've got the Scarab God exiling creatures out of the graveyard. We can do that in response to the trigger right there. You know, bringing back something like Lord of the Void, Lord of Extinction. Got all the lords out of the graveyard. Uh, we can have a lot of fun with that. But unfortunately, we don't get it on this one. But that was a, uh, a very nice Soul Tie reanimator showing. So I'm very happy with that. But anyways, if you enjoyed the video, hey, like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.